Okay guys, in this video we will be unboxing the Seagate Expansion 2TB hard drive. Let's get into this. Okay, so first things first, here's the box. Clearly you can see as it's the logo up here, the 2TB, same what it is, the expansion uh, portable hard drive. Little picture of it there. I, I like the pattern on it. Uh, I'll show you the pattern closer when we actually unbox it. Just a little bit of information here, just like the uh, serial number, just saying again the expansion um, portable hard drive and it's the 2 terabyte. I can't really get that in focus there, sorry about that. Over here it's just saying what it's compatible with, don't worry about this if you're a uh, Mac user, it does work on Mac, you just need to format the hard drive itself. I'll do that in another video because I'm actually going to be opening this up, taking it out of the case and throwing it in a Playstation, so stay tuned for that video. Again just some some more basic information about the hard drive or well, really I think it's just saying <laughs> add-on storage for your PlayStation uh, for your PlayStation your P your PC or your Mac don't worry about that just in all the different languages just some more basic information down there at the bottom this don't really matter don't really matter about that the box I think is a really nice box and just up here but it ain't really the box you want to see it's the hard drive itself up here it has a little map of the world and also like one year two year and three year warranty and where you are depends on you know the color shades of how much years warranty you would get with the company itself not with the person that you bought it from okay so let's actually get this thing open let's just pop these seals off there we go I got my one from anything in there. Nope. Let's put that to the side now. Alright. So what we get? We got little manuals here. Just little manuals just showing us, just telling us about it. And the world's simplest diagram that you would ever need to use a USB 3.0 um, portable hard drive, which is just really plug and play to be honest. So we'll just throw that to the side as well. So now we've got this, let's pop this cover off of it, flip that up, there's the hard drive itself. This 3D pattern on it is really nice, but it is actually extremely similar to another 2 terabyte hard drive I have unboxed on my channel, which is the Samsung one. I'll show you that quickly as well. So, there we go. Is the, the things that we actually want from the box, so a really short... Uh, 3.0 USB cable the hard drive itself just some little information now really sorry about not getting this in focus ah there we go there we go just a little bit if you can read all that that's cool so the hard drive itself looks pretty sturdy you can't really squeeze it much it isn't giving you much give in there but as I said I won't be really using this as a uh, external hard drive itself I'm going to be taking this apart and throwing it in a um, into a PlayStation so it upgrades the space because I need some space on that keep downloading games instead of uh, purchasing them in disk form so yeah the pattern I really do like the pattern the hard drive itself isn't that big you could easily slip this into your pocket and go about your day with it but as you can see the pattern is, is pretty cool but I'll um I'll show you the Samsung one that I did on my other video you can see the pattern it's not exactly the same but it's kind of getting at the same feel of it you know giving off that 3d embossed kind of look on it obviously i i kind of do prefer this one kind of looks like little pyramids but you know both two terabyte hard drives one is slightly smaller but the hard drives inside are exactly the same so i'm going to plug this into a into a laptop and show you it working quickly Let's just get this cable in. Oh, this over there. Boom. We can. Yeah, there you go. And it's just survived its first fall. <laughs> Let's bring this up to the screen. So you can see a little light on now. 
it's a pretty nice design. I do I do like it. I like this blue light as well. On the Samsung one, it does also do a light as well. I haven't got anything to actually record the screen on this. Very sorry about that. Let's just try to get this in the focus for you. There you go. This is what will pop up on the first um, thing. So obviously here you have your warranty down there. Start here. And that you should, in fairness, just be able to not even do any of this and just start, to be honest. Let's just go on this start thing. In another video, I will show you how to uh, format this. Right, so there you go. There's, there's your hard drive fully working. And if you want to format it on the Windows, all you got to do is right-click it down here. Go Format. And we could format this right now. There you see, I've got... Obviously, it takes about... I don't know why it's only giving me the one, 181 terabytes should really be the 200 but obviously some of the operating systems on the hard drive itself do take up a little bit so what we can do because this I believe that's only for windows but if you change it to the xfat that'll work on both windows and mac but what i will do now is i'll close this and i will jump to a mac computer okay so here we are now on my mac what I'm going to do, I'm just going to pop this USB in. Alright, so now it's powering on the hard drive. It should pop up on the desktop. But if it doesn't, just go to your finder. Ah, there you go. You see it's popped up down here. You might be looking at that and saying, oh, so it does work on a thing here. You can see all the space that you have in here and everything. Uh, this is one thing I didn't show you on the on the Windows. It's just the warranty, just uh, warranty documents with it. All different languages. So feel free when you get the hard drive to have a read or I'll keep it on there if you want to quickly uh, have a read. You could pause the video and read that. So most of you probably think, oh, so now it's working on a on a Mac. You, ain't, you haven't got to format it. So if I try to grab this picture and actually try and drag and drop it in there, it won't allow it because obviously the Mac will pick it up a Mac will pick up a Windows formatted uh, or, a, or a hard drive that is formatted to work on Windows but you won't be able to put anything on there so what you're going to do to be able to make this work is actually go up in your search bar go to disk utility find that and you'll see here it will come up with your obviously your hard drive for your Macintosh and then your hard drive that your external any external hard drives that you've plugged in it will show USBs there as well and what you want to do you want to go over to erase and you want to put it as MDOS fat that would be for Mac or you can do XFAT which I believe allows you to copy file, uh, folders or files that are over I think 4 gig or 5 gig something like that I may be wrong there it may be the other one that allows you to do that I will if I'm wrong about that, I'll put an annotation on the video. If I'm not, there won't be one. Okay, so let's just name this Seagate. And what we're going to do, just hit Erase. And also, you can, if you want, you can partition it. That's, that's completely up to you. I'm not going to. I'm just, just going to use it as the hard drive as it is. I'm just going to click Erase. Yeah, this disk has one partition Seagate expansion drive. Yep. So that should do that. The Max just asked me, do you want to use Untitled? I don't know why it's Untitled. I did name it, but anyway, I'll, I'll rename it anyway. As a backup time machine, no, I do not. And we should be able to close this now. Go to our Finder. I just, I have a habit of going through the Finder and doing it instead of just clicking on the little desktop icons. You can see all the warranty is gone <laughs> and the other things, so you probably should save them first. Sorry for saying that after. And now I can actually click and drag and drop some files in there. Um, let me see if I've got a file bigger than 4 gig that it allow. Yeah, there we go. Just throw them in, see if that works. There you go, you see it's all copying over now. Okay, so that's it. That's basically the unboxing. I will put all the, sp like the specs of the hard drive um, in the description. So I have feel free to just look down there for all the specs of it 
I paid around, I actually paid 45 for this, but you can find it for 55 pounds to about 65 pounds on Amazon. I don't really know the, the dollar price, how much it would be in America or wherever else you're watching it, but I know it for, for people watching in the UK, you can you can grab them off Amazon for a pretty, a pretty good price of about 55 pounds to 65 pounds. So anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and stay tuned for more. I'm trying to really stay on top of this now I'm trying to try to get videos out quite often as possible um, and yeah in the next video I will be taking this hard drive apart and throwing it in a PlayStation or I might cut that up into two just taking it apart because I'm going to actually try to get the PlayStation hard drive into into the case of this one and use this as a 500 gig uh, hard drive by itself so anyway guys if you enjoyed the video don't forget to just give it a like and subscribe if, to the channel if you enjoyed the content. I may have been a bit, you know, a bit lost at certain points, but hopefully all was well and you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe, it would really help. Have a great day.